Hey guys, I'm back here with another review of a new movie called uh, The Ides of March. It is a political drama slash thriller that slowly sucks you in and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought the editing was a bit odd in the beginning of the film. I found the first act to be rather underwhelming. It just kind of just, it just starts. But it, it definitely leaves you also kind of leaving some character development, but there are a few nice shots in here. So cinematography wise, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I also was a little confused why we followed a coffee girl towards the end of the film. It didn't really lead up to anything. Maybe it's like some message of something, like some symbolism. I'm not sure. But anyways, enough for the negatives. Um, the film realistically captures the dirty world of like politics. Like it's very, it, it, the dialogue is, is really real. Like the stress is seriously there. Like it is very good at making you conflict it. The film starts off kind of boring and rather just like, yeah, all right, this is just another political drama, but slowly it turns into this race to the top of a hierarchy, and it's like this twisted swirl of lies, and it's so real, and like the acting is just excellent. Like, of course, Ryan Gosling is great, but you know, I'm a fanboy of that, him, so I, you know, that's that. My opinion doesn't matter, I guess, in that uh, circumstance, but uh, George Clooney is literally just himself. I honestly don't like George Clooney at all, so on him but um honestly in my opinion he's probably one of the most generic and bland actors out there i've never seen a film or performance from him that i was like wowed by uh anyways this film slowly turns from a boring drama as i said into an intense thriller and it's ex excellently shot for that like it the zooms and everything it, it's really really good the second and third actor excellent um ryan gosling is just thrown into this disaster and is forced to use people and those lies that are twisting around him and everything to get his own way to the top. And I really like how the film really leaves you asking, was it all worth it? I love the final slow zoom on Ryan's face till it cuts to black on the final scene. There's, it's just, it's so great. Like it was, it was, it's so excellent. The scene's actually showing like right now. There's also an excellent scene where Ryan Gosling's character uh, uses a phone of a previously deceased woman who was involved in a scandal with George's character to call him like in the middle of a speech about, you know, the loss of this girl. And it, like it literally the camera pans around the room until it finds Gosling like it's George looking for him and they just lock eyes. I love how it's like shown but not said like he knows that he's in trouble and I thought that was brilliant. But uh, yeah, overall, I think this film was extremely tense, and for the last two acts at least, uh, I'd have to say that we're perfect, the last two acts, but the first was just a little, little lacking. So I'm going to give this film a good rating. It gets a good. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, sorry if the editing is a little odd, still working on getting a little bit better at that. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later.